Aries. Welcome to the weekly love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from October 12th to the 21st. Thank you guys for being patient. I just had to deal with some stuff yesterday. I'm sure you guys understand. Tomorrow is the full moon in Aries, so I already can feel a lot of shit coming up for you guys. And I know you guys are going to be really impacted by this, but not just you, but a lot of other people. And of course, depending on charts as well. Okay. So let's talk about the meditative session first, and then we'll do the pre-shuffle on screen, and then we'll go ahead and do the tarot reading. Keep in mind for those who are new to meditation or tarot, or even just my channel, the energy I pick up during meditation is energy in and around you. So it's energy you could be experiencing directly or energy from someone within your environment or from someone you're energetically attached to, which is like talking about them, thinking about them, even if they're not around you physically, okay? It is energy, so it can be vice versa, everything that I picked up. Aries, like straight up wounded warrior. <laughs> straight up wounded warrior energy. Some of you feel like your heart chakra chakras are bleeding. Uh, it feels very intense. It feels very, very intense. Um... And they were actually showing me, uh, like, you know how, you know, back in the day, <laughs> back in the day, when you would get a really bad wound, you'd have to cauterize it. I mean, they still kind of do that now, like in case in emergency situations, um, where like you throw dirt on it or whatever to keep it from bleeding. Um, but yeah, they were showing me that. And Aries, because of this energy, full moon in Aries has an aspect going on with Pluto, which is bringing up a lot of shit, like more so than a normal full moon would. It's also bringing up like, the deep, deep, dark shit that Pluto usually influences, right? And so some of you just are, you're feeling it, you know you're upset, and for some that's coming out as anger, some that's coming out as frustration, some you're straight up crying, or crying and yelling <laughs> at the same time. Um, and Aries, I can feel it that there's such a resistance to what's coming up for you. Of course, not everybody, but I can feel that resistance, okay? And I feel like with that cauterization energy, like that cauterization that I was seeing, you want a quick fix. It's almost like, make it go away. Just, just make that shit go away. Aries, when wounding comes up like that, it's coming up so we can deal with it. Like, deal with it in a healthy way. Really acknowledge it. Accept whatever it is that we're hurting over. Because some of these are really deep wounds, guys. Like, really deep wounds. And it's a, it's a good thing that they're coming up, even though it feels awful. Because then you can finally deal with it right? This energy is allowing for that. Otherwise, it's like, it's something that you probably could be ignoring for quite some time, but not realizing how it's affecting your relationships or other aspects of your life. So it's important to not just try to find a quick fix or try to just push it away to really acknowledge and accept your emotions about it and why you feel the way you feel and purge it out and to start healing those deep wounds. Okay. I did also see a rhino, which I wasn't surprised by. And again, don't try to bulldoze your way through this. <laughs> Okay, Aries, don't try to bulldoze your way through the healing and do that quick fix express lane, express lane healing, please. Like, no, we're not, we're not doing that, Aries. We're not doing that. Um, Rhino spirit is also about overcoming obstacles, okay? It's about getting through the big tower moments. It's about getting through the big traumatic events in our life. And you can do that, Aries. You can. Just make sure you're doing it in a healthy way. I did just hear family, actually. Aries, you could be finding out some really deep, dark sh secret shit about your family or your family situation or even just like genetics, like your bloodline. Maybe you're finding out more of your own ancestry and maybe it's making you feel some kind of way. I don't know. I don't know, Aries. Some of you, that's definitely the case. I don't know why that came out like that. Some of you, that's definitely the case. Either way, there is a family component here for some of you that I'm picking up on. Whatever comes to light, Aries, whatever comes to light, whatever... I feel like for some, it's also around emotions, like how people truly feel within your family environment or within your, <clears throat> excuse me, within your family in general, whatever it is, Aries, let it come out. Don't resist it. Don't fight it. Don't, don't feel the urge to lash out in anger. That's not going to help you. That's not going to help you. Okay. There's nothing wrong with being angry. Just don't let it take over because if we sit in anger, it's very unproductive energy. You can't really do much when you're just angry. All you can do is be angry, really. You know what I mean? So just make sure that you're not sitting in it. Just acknowledge it and move on, okay? So Aries, let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle here. My wounded warriors. By the way, isn't Chiron still in Aries? I'm pretty sure Chiron is still in Aries. Chiron in Aries is the epitome of wounded warrior energy. Chiron um, addresses wounds in general, but when it's in the sign of Aries, it's, it is about what we've had to fight for, what we've had to push for all of that kind of, like very nine of wands. I am seeing the six of wands though, all of a sudden they show me the six of wands. That's Jupiter and Leo energy. 
You can be victorious here, Aries. You can. I also feel bringing attention to injustice, injustices. Always sounds weird when I say it like that. I am also picking up an energy of that, like bringing attention to things that have been kept in the dark, bringing attention to things that have been really unfair um, in your own life, in your relationships, or in your immediate environment, especially family environments. Just watch the ego. That's also a very ego-heavy card, so watch the ego there, okay? Okay, let's get these cards calibrated. Poison forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. Now they're showing me a monkey. <laughs> okay. Okay, they're showing me a monkey. I feel like that's about play. Oh, yeah, Aries, they're, they're trying, yeah, I think spirit, like, Spirit's just alluding to trying to be a little bit more lighthearted here, like, you're gonna be angry, you're gonna be triggered, you're gonna be pissed off, try to be more in that, like, playful, positive energy when you feel like you're stuck in that anger, just to help break up that energy a little bit, um, also, guys, positive thinking is gonna be really big, uh, for this full moon cycle as well because we have a lot of jupiter stuff going on positive thinking is going to be really big if you want things to go well you have to think positive and you got to put in the right healthy effort they wanted me to say healthy effort so try not to bring anger to the table as hard as that's going to be okay please bring forth messages of truth healing and love for those who need it for aries sun moon rising venus and jupiter October 12th to the 21st. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. October 12th to the 21st. Some of you will benefit from taking an observational standpoint in a lot of these situations. Like if you're finding yourself in a situation specifically where there's multiple people involved and they're fighting, especially if it's family, try to take a back seat. Try to observe if you can. Like if you're not the one like initiating it, Try to just try to observe. I think that's going to be very beneficial for those in those situations. Poising forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh. We've got the world, which is fixed energy. So Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, which, Saturn, which does rule Capricorn. Six of Cups in a verse is Scorpionic energy. It could also be past life, soulmate, karmic energy, as, long, as well as family energy and childhood energy here. Yeah, there's a whole new cycle starting. And I feel like it's because a lot of shit is coming up from the past. A lot of wounds from the past are coming up to initiate this new cycle. We got to deal with this shit. All right, we got to deal with this shit. Whatever bad shit's coming from the past, deal with it so you can move into a whole new cycle with people in your life, okay? Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Oh, that's too many. That's too many, Spirit. That's too many. Mm. Wow. This is this is total stagnation and being stunted here. Uh, Knight of Pentacles in a verse is Virgo energy. It could also be Earth or Fire with the Empress in a verse. Libra energy, Taurus energy, Divine Feminine energy. This is no growth, no progress. Stuck in the mud. I actually just heard stuck in the mud. Some of you, the shit's coming up because you haven't had growth in your life for a while in, in some sectors of your life. Maybe not all. It could even just be one sector. Still feeling heavy family here. Um, also even just your romantic life for some of you. Yeah, there's there's at least one sector in your lives, for some it's multiple, where there's been just total, like, no progress, no movement whatsoever, whatsoever. Wow. I'm also getting a very stubborn energy with this. A very stubborn feminine energy. It could even be a mother figure. It doesn't have to be. Um, if they're not, actually, if they're not, like, a mother or a parent, because it can also be for men, too. Uh, how do I say this? It's almost like um, toxic femininity. Thank you. That's what it is. Toxic feminin femininity. Whoever's harnessing that, they're being very stubborn about something. I feel like it's coming from wounds. Yeah. I feel like it's coming from wounds. Uh, really, really stubborn, really kind of stuck in their ways about something because they're guarded. Because they're very guarded about some things that have happened to them in, in, in their past. Like, for example, if this is like business, like let's say they got screwed over in business quite a few times, so they're really hesitant to kind of collaborate with other people or deal with people in a healthy way. Like, it has to be their way for them to feel comfortable so they don't get screwed over again. It's that kind of energy. And again, the, Jesus, if I could talk. And again, this also applies to romantic situations as well. 
I did get multiple messages, guys, so just hang in there. All these messages are not going to be for everybody. I read for thousands of people, so just hold on to what resonates for you, okay? Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Wow. Oh, shit. Tower in reverse, Scorpionic energy with the Five of Pentacles, Taurian energy. Tower can also be Aries because it's Mars energy. Look how identical these two cards are. Oh my god, I never noticed that in this deck. That is so crazy. Okay. Just, yeah, just look at this. Is that not, like, almost identical? I'm like, what are the bat? Oh my god, it is. Hold on. Wait, do these connect? Hold on, give me a second. I swear, they're, like, practically the same image. Hold on. I'm, oh my god it's exactly the same image wait a second wait a second i'm gonna line it up perfectly so you guys can see it look at that <laughs> oh my god aries so the tower with the five of pentacles this is a major crash to reality a crash to reality or a fall from grace this is big this is really really big here okay and for some that that toxic femininity energy i was picking up again could be a male doesn't have to be a female it's, it's energy right that's why this person is so stubborn they've hit rock bottom at some point in their lives or someone has made them feel like they've hit rock bottom it, it's it's an awful energy it's really awful it's like feeling like you're on top of the world and all of a sudden you're on your ass like it's very much like my world just changed what the hell happened i feel like this is past energy that this empress is carrying around again male or female doesn't matter and it's made them kind of sit in toxic femininity femininity Made them very stubborn, made them feel very stagnant, okay? For some, this is also occurring in your love life where maybe someone really did shake your world up in such a way where it's like they pulled the rug up from under you and you never got over that. Ah, I know, I know. And maybe you never got over it and it's just like because of that, you've seen a lot of stagnation in your love life. This could also be business because it is pentacles, right? I can't believe this is like, this is so crazy. It's exactly the same image. I never noticed that. It's exactly the same image. Um, for some of you where this is business, you know, maybe you lost your job or maybe you experienced a lot of shit in the workplace, a lot of hostile work environments or just being treated unfairly or even discrimination. Hey, it is society, right? That has how society works when it comes to the work sector. And it's just made you very bitter about that. Some of you were really taken advantage of in the past, really taken advantage of. And it's just stuff that you never really truly got over. It's stuff that you kind of carried with you to... To kind of make sure it didn't happen again but instead of healing from it you carried it with you kind of like a badge of baggage i'm just the messenger <laughs> okay i'm just the messenger this is shit that's coming up so that we can come into a whole new cycle where we don't have to carry this kind of shit with us you know what i mean wow okay either way let's go ahead and get started because we're about 12 minutes in aries okay Anyone who's new to my channel and new to tarot, please know these messages are very general and they are not for everybody. As you heard me set the intention, messages come through for those who really need to hear them. So if it's not your week, it's not your week and that's cool. So go ahead and check out any other readers we have here on YouTube. We are working with energy, so just know it can be reversed or vice versa. Gender the cards does not matter. We all have masculine and feminine energy. Also, the time frame of these videos do not matter. Time is not linear. This is just for organizational purposes. So whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're guided to watch it. Please also check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter and Patreon and anything else you need to know, look below. Okay. Any messages for Aries? Any messages for Aries? They were they were just reciting something to me, but I missed it. Something about a fish. Maybe you don't know the Pisces. You could be a cusper. Um something about a fish? The way the fish swims? Can you repeat that, please? I'm like, <laughs> it was so quick I missed it. Um <clears throat> Oh, it's about that resistance. Like, go with the flow, guys. Go with the flow. Don't try to swim upstream. Don't try to swim up river or against the grain too much. <laughs> We're going to be dealing with a lot of crazy energy. And definitely for you, Aries, you're going to really be feeling it. So try to just take things day by day. Yeah, try to take things day by day. Also, don't overwork yourself is what they're telling me. Any messages for Aries regarding love? Messages for Aries regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Okay. Any messages for Aries regarding love? October 12th. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay, I like this. 
Seven of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy with the Ten of Pentacles Virgo energy. This is choosing an option that's leading to legacy. Leading to legacy, long-standing stability. This is also making a clear-headed decision regarding work, leading to something that's going to like be a huge payoff. Ten of Pentacles is also blessings, okay? It's also um, an energy of family or the home. Some of you guys could be buying a home. Some of you could have been looking at different options. You're like, yep, that's the one. That's my house. Or yep, that's the one. That's the job that's going to make me happy. That's the career that's going to make me happy. Or that's the relationship that's going to lead me to major stability and a family environment. I really like this because this is clear-headed rationality as well. If someone was dating around or if you were dating around Aries, someone's chosen an option. I don't like when people <laughs> like, oh, I've got my options. I know it's just how things work, but you know, someone's chosen an option. I don't know why that word rubs me the wrong way. It just does. Anyway. Any messages for Aries? Oh, wow. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Excuse me. Capricorn energy. Some of you saved up for this. Some of you were, you're investing. So yeah, some of you, this is an investment. Whether you're investing in a business or a home, like property. Some of you, it's straight up property. You, you saved up quite a bit. You saved up a lot and you're because of that you're you're ready to put it down ready to put that deposit down i like that though there's also relinquish relinquishing control excuse me <clears throat> relinquishing control letting things go letting things go letting things be as they're supposed to be and i think because you're doing that for some of you this is that healing process that i was talking about right these wounds come up we deal with it we let it go we purge it out and because you're doing that it's allowing you to also be clear-headed in where you're going. I like it. Any other messages for Aries? Ugh. There's always something. Seven of Swords. Ugh. Aquarian energy. This could be letting go of deceitful ways, right? Or the deceit that people have done to you. Yeah. You know, this is interesting. I'm also kind of getting like your own is it denial what am i picking up with the seven of swords the stuff that you don't tell people the stuff you keep close to your heart you're letting that go you're letting that go some of you are realizing that you've kind of been your own worst enemy here again i'm just a messenger it can be vice versa some of you guys are realizing that some of you guys are realizing that because you've held on to baggage or what people have done to you in the past to the point where you've kind of missed out on some opportunities or you've crucified people before really getting to know them or really getting to know all the information others it's just letting go of the bullshit that people try to put you through okay <laughs> see what else we have here there's a lot going on with that seven of swords we're definitely going to be clarifying that Aye. or aries you know all of this energy is also making people realize people who have been very deceitful towards others that they need to not be that way anymore okay so someone who's, who you're connected to might be realizing oh shit you know what i've kind of been doing wrong by aries maybe i need to stop doing wrong by aries any other messages for aries regarding love october 12th to the 21st any other messages for aries regarding love october 12th to the 21st any other messages for Aries regarding love? Wow. Oh, shit, Aries. Now we've got a page of cups. This is honesty. This is apologies. Messages of love. I like this, Aries. I really do because I feel like during this time, you're going to be really nourishing yourself on an emotional level. Oh, come back. You're really going to be nourishing yourself on an emotional level from the pain that you've been through, the bullshit people have put you through, from any moments where you've fallen from grace or had the rug pulled up under you and you've had to change your whole life because of it. Either way, it's like you know where you're going now, you know what you want now, and you've released a lot to get there. And even if it has been just about soothing your wounds in a healthy way and being honest with yourself about it and giving yourself that love, right, and giving yourself that TLC. Again, they're telling me don't overwork yourself. Um, others, you will be getting apologies. Some of you have held on to the bullshit for a long time. Some of you have really held on to these wounds for quite some time, and now you are getting the apologies for it. It's not going to be grand, but it's going to be honest. It's going to be honest. For some, they just have to do this to get rid of their own guilt. Even if, like, for example, if you were left in a really awful way. If someone broke up with you or left you or abandoned you in a really awful way, they might not try to, like apologize to get back in with you but just apologize to be like i don't want to live with this guilt anymore okay that kind of stuff either way you're heading towards ten of pentacles and that is beautiful 
and you're getting rid of the baggage and bullshit. Also beautiful. Overall energy though, we do have the Eight of Swords. Gemini energy, this is being stuck, being stuck in fear, being stuck in anxiety, mostly fear. I am getting mostly fear and ego actually a little bit with that. Underneath that we do have the moon in reverse. Uh, Piscean energy could also be Cancerian for me as a reader. Again, the full moon is tomorrow. You're realizing why you've been stuck. You're realizing why you've had stagnancy. You're realizing why you've been guarded because it's fear. And the Aries, I think that's really hard for some of you to accept. And I get it. We all have trouble accepting that at some point. Um, but you could be realizing like, oh, maybe I haven't had any growth in that area because deep down I've just been afraid. I've just been afraid because I don't want to get hurt again because I don't want to fall down to a five of pentacles again because I trusted the wrong person or I didn't trust my intuition or whatever it is. You're realizing that. I know it's kind of an intense one, guys. Kind of an intense one. But let's go ahead and break down these energies a little bit. Yeah, let's look at this. Let's look at this. Let's actually look at the Seven of Cups in reverse because Ten of Pentacles is going to be different for all of you. Like I said, for some, some it's an investment. Some it's property. Some it's heading towards that family life, that family lifestyle. Others it's just your sheer legacy or career. But let's look at Seven of Cups in reverse because that's getting clear-headed about it. Um, hmm. Let's do Ryder with this one. Tell me about Seven of Cups in reverse. Some of you could have a Moon Gemini placement, or someone you're dealing with could have a Moon Gemini placement. Time with Seven of Cups in reverse. Time with Seven of Cups in reverse for Aries regarding love. Ah. Time with Seven of Cups in reverse for Aries <clears throat> regarding love, October twelfth to the twenty first. If you're buying a home or you're making a big investment, you might not be telling anybody, which is kind of interesting. I feel a little hush-hush with that. Oh, maybe you're being hush-hush about it till it's like it's all golden, said and done, and like, you know, you don't have to have a conversation of, yeah, I tried, but dot, dot, dot. I think that's why some of you guys are being quiet about it. Time of the seven. <laughs> see what we got here. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I like it. Temperance, Sagittarian energy. Eight of Wands in reverse. More Sag energy. Could be doing the Sag. Then we've got the Queen of Wands. Aries energy. Hello, Aries. Could also be fire or water here. Yeah, this is blockages. This is healing those blockages from forward movement. Eight of Wands in reverse is also my designated Mercury retrograde card, which does occur on the 31st. We're already in the pre-shadow effect. But Aries, this is you wanting to take action, knowing what you want, but having this block here, right? Like I said, some of you, it's just like, why haven't I had any growth in this sector of my life? Why can't things seem to progress in this sector of my life? Because fear has been holding you back. That's why temperance is here. This is my fix-it angel. It's divine intervention. It's also pa patience. <laughs> I don't know those. I almost like got the word like patience, like, like in a hospital. I don't know why. Maybe some of you guys are working in a hospital. I did just her nurse. RNs. Oh, this is interesting. Some of you... Some of you are, are, are you taking it? NP, they're giving me NP. I don't know what NP stands for. Is that a title? I don't know what that is, NP? Something about tests and NP, I don't know. I don't, I don't know medical stuff. <laughs> as far as like titles and things, but something about that, something about that. I don't know, anyway, anyway, neither here nor there. So this energy you're being divinely guided to deal with this to heal this block that's been keeping you from your legacy from your family environment from your ideal family situation your ideal home environment your blessings your legacy again it's from wounds that you haven't addressed that is your block and that's why temperance is here to help you remove that block very very nice let's see what else we got for you aries climb out seven of cups in reverse some of you, these wounds are on criticism. This is interesting. Being overly criticized so you doubt yourself and so you don't actually go for it in that sector of your life. I feel like for those where that's the case, I think you took a big risk in this sector of your life years, months, months, years, years ago, and it didn't work out as people told you it wouldn't, and I think that was really hard for you to deal with. And look, we all fall. We all fall. It's a part of it's a part of life. It's a part of living. It's a part of learning as well. Um, like this energy of like of being afraid to fail. 
someone made you feel like you failed in the past. Someone made you feel that way. And I think that's where your deep wound is coming from. And oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to activate you, Aries. I just felt Sammy go, oh my God, that is it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, there's just something I was picking up on that, you know, maybe you didn't realize that that's really what your wound was, that you don't want to feel like a failure. You're not a failure. We don't fail. Let me put it this way. We don't fail in life. We live life. That's a part of living is falling down sometimes, right? It's not a failure. It's a learning experience. Some of you have issues around feeling like a failure. Tell us seven of cups in reverse for Aries. Tell us seven of cups in reverse for Aries regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Tell me more about the seven of cups in reverse for Aries. Wow, overall energy, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, yep. And then we've got the Four of Wands, Aries energy. Wow, Knight of Wands, Sag energy, could also be Aries or Leo. Oh my goodness, with the Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy, could also be Pisces or Scorpio. Wow, with the Knight of Swords, Gemini energy, could also be Air or Fire. Okay, Aries, definitely picking up on a romantic situation here. So Aries, if you've been dealing with someone in trying to elevate your relationship to the next level, whatever that is, like whether that's marriage, moving in, getting engaged, uh, becoming exclusive, whatever it is, you've had a lot of blockages in your romantic life. A lot. You're discovering what that blockage is to get it to remove it. However, Aries, <laughs> overall, this is someone making a choice, okay? This is someone making a choice, feeling like they missed out on an opportunity. So Aries, if this is you who have who has the block, once you deal with it and heal it, you're going to be on the move to, to fix shit with someone that you're romantically involved with, okay? Keep in mind, this can be vice versa, Aries, where someone could be realizing they have a block about you or a block in their own romantic life about how they go about relationships. Once they realize that and heal that, they're going to realize, oh my God, I'm going to miss out on opportunity with Aries. Let me come in on my white horse. <laughs> well, white and brown horse. Um, that's a lot of movement, by the way. Uh, for the sake of commitment to elevate our relationship, take it to the next level because they got a lot of love for you, Aries, and they see you as someone who's very attractive and worth loving. However, that Knight of Swords, I gotta be honest, Aries, I feel like you're gonna get triggered. If you're getting approached, whoever's getting approached by the person who's, mo who's removing these blockages, uh, I feel a fight. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I feel a little bit of a fight here. And I think it's gonna be kind of like, oh, oh, what do you what do you want? Like, what what do you have to say now? You know, I feel like it's gonna be kind of like that. I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny in a way. I think it's gonna work out regardless because you're ending in a ten of pentacles here. So Aries, like I said, whoever has these blockages, they're going to realize what these blockages are really about. They're going to heal these blockages. Also through divine guidance. They're getting a little bit of divine guidance help here. And then once they realize that, they're going to be like, shit, I miss on an opportunity with Aries. Let me get on my horse. Or Aries, you're going to realize you missed an opportunity with someone. Let me get on my horse and go fix it. And I feel like the person who's on the receiving end of this is going to be like, what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> what the hell do you have to say for yourself now? It's going to be that energy, but it's going to end nicely. It's going to end nicely. All right, so let's move on. Ah, oh, Aries. To the four of pentacles in reverse with the, uh, that's so weird, I almost said this is the eight of swords, the seven of swords. So again, this is part of the block, right? This is part of like, why, why hasn't that sector of my life grown? Why haven't I seen progress in this? Oh, because deep down, I'm afraid. And when you're afraid, you don't really take chances. You don't take chances on people. You don't trust people. You don't trust situations you're finding yourself in. And unfortunately, sometimes at least that leads to self-sabotage or that leads to sabotaging the situation or being deceitful towards the other person, knowingly or not knowingly or not so Aries decide now what end of this situations you fall under okay because it's gonna be different for everybody because it is energy it can be vice versa I want to look at the seven of swords let's look at that seven of swords um okay do gilded time of the seven of swords time of the seven of swords for Aries so we've already, it's, it's funny how these cards come out. So we've already looked at essentially what's going to happen after this block is <clears throat> dealt with. This energy we're about to go into is actually dealing with that block, okay? Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Someone has stopped running is also what I just heard. Someone has stopped running. Oh, oh. Tell me the Seven of Swords for Aries. 
regarding love. Time of the Seven of Swords for Aries regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. How am I doing on time? Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I didn't realize what type it was. Time of the Seven of Swords for Aries regarding love. Ah, hold on. Come back here. Ace of Swords in reverse. Yeah, lies. Lies, illusions, disillusionment. Again, for those who've had the, these blocks, <clears throat> you didn't realize how much they, they really took away from your clarity and way of seeing things. And others, it's the bullshit people did to you, right? <sighs> Shit. Page of Wands in reverse with the Seven of Swords, Aquarian energy. Yeah, this is just very sabotaging energy. Again, whether someone was doing this to you or you were doing this to yourself. Let's see what else we got here. Either way, it's being released. It's being thrown out. So I have the Seven of Swords. <clears throat> I'm also getting for some of you, these wounds are about self-worth. Time of Seven of Swords. Time of Seven of Swords. It, okay. Yeah, some of you, this is about self-worth. And so as a way to cope with that, I'm almost getting overcompensation of like hyping yourself up even more, even though deep down you didn't really feel worthy of something. Again, I'm just the messenger. Don't shoot me. Time of the Seven of Swords. Oh, I see. I like this. Now we have the King of Pentacles. Taurian energy could also be Earth or Air with the Knight of Pentacles. Virgo energy could also be Earth or Fire. This is growth. This is growing and maturing from a knight to a king. Even if you're a, a, a female, doesn't matter here, okay? This is learning your lessons from that, addressing your blocks, and really dealing with it and allowing yourself to grow as a result. Overall energy, we have Three of Wands, Aries energy. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter energy. Once you do this, the wheel will start to turn. You might have felt very distant from fortune or distant from like good luck is what I'm getting. Like good luck has never been on your side is, is that energy. And you might have even told yourself that. But Aries, once you deal with these blocks or the person you're dealing with deals with these blocks, the wheel will, will turn forward and there will be good fortune to be had. Okay? Now, let's, sorry. <laughs> I just need to make sure I'm on time. I have to do a live in about 30 minutes. Okay, so let's look at the page of cups and then we'll pull some oracle cards. Mm, do legacy with this one. <clears throat> so I have the page of cups. For a lot of you, this is new love for your for yourself, soothing your wounds, soothing your wounds. Others, these are apologies that you'll be getting from people who did you wrong. So I have the page of cups. Remember, either way, you're landing in ten of pentacles. Time at the Page of Cups. Aries, if you were done wrong by someone and they're the one removing their blocks, they're maturing. They are maturing and they're going to come to you. You might not believe them, but they're maturing to a king status, okay? Male or female. Time at the Page of Cups for Aries regarding love. October 12th to the 21st. Wow, Hierophant in reverse, Taurian energy. Rebel, rebelling. Yeah, I'm getting apologies for re rebelling, being rebellious, not following the rules. Oh, not following the rules. Okay, that's definitely for those who, who you know, people have done you wrong. Oh, wow, yep, Emperor in reverse, Aries energy, Taurus energy, Divine Masculine energy. Yeah, this is apologies for, for being rebellious, for not following the rules, not doing right by others, not doing right by spirit, is also what I just heard, and not listening to your intuition. Aries, whether you did this to people or someone did this to you, this is acknowledgement of that. Acknowledgement of that and also healing the wounds around that. Time of the Page of Cups. Getting that stubborn energy again. Someone was really stubborn in learning these lessons, like they were kind of aware but they resisted, resisted, resisted. <clears throat> for those <clears throat> for those who resonate with that, I feel like it's someone you were dealing with. It could have been you too, Aries. But whatever the stubborn energy is to you in your life, um, I feel like it's because they're not comfortable with emotions. They're not comfortable feeling because feeling often equates to pain for this person. It doesn't always have to, but this person's experienced a lot is what I'm getting. Tell me about the Page of Cups for Aries. Tie the page of cups for Aries. A lot of you, this is also around father issues, 
patriarchal issue. I'll say patriarchal. Patriarchal issues. So father, grandfather issues or issues around authority, issues around control. Talk about page of cups for whoever's working through their blockages, okay? <clears throat> ah. So I have the page of cups for Aries regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Overall energy, oh, we got two of cups here. Cancerian energy could also be soulmate energy for me as a reader. Wow. Ten of swords, Gemini energy. Ten of, uh, not pentacles, ten of cups in reverse, Piscean energy. Then we've got the high priestess, Piscean energy, also Gemini for me as a reader here. Underneath that, we've got the devil in reverse, Capricorn energy. Yeah, so I feel like these are apologies around soulmate connections, okay? Soulmate connections can be family, lovers, friends, coworkers. Doesn't always have to be romance, but these, yeah, this is about betrayal. <clears throat> betrayal and pain that's been had in soulmate connections that's led to a lot of disappointment a lot of unhappiness especially in the home or family environment but then with the high priestess and devil in reverse acknowledging this doing this healing is releasing the bondage to that pain the bondage to the baggage okay it's releasing all of that so that you know we can finally create the space that we need to in our life to get to the ten of pentacles okay aries whoever's dealing with these blockages they're they're owning up to their shit Owning up to their shit, owning up and accepting what's been done to them as well, and recognizing that, okay, it's time to address this in a healthy way, time to deal with this in a healthy way, time to apologize to people I have to apologize for because that's going to release my guilt, that's also going to release any of these tendencies, it's going to release this pain. Hmm. A lot of secrets coming out, guys. A lot of secrets. Let's go ahead and pull some advice from the Spirit Animal deck and then we'll wrap this up. Okay, yeah, we're good, we're good. Sorry, have to check. <clears throat> Actually, I'm gonna get a little water first. Give me a second. Mm. Okay. Any advice for Aries regarding love and this spread? Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? <laughs> Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Ay, ay, ay. Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Okay. Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? <clears throat> Any advice for Aries? Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Let's see. Oh, we got quite a few cards here, Aries. Oh, Aries. Groundhog spirit. Time to let go. 31, break it down to a four. If you want stability, if you want that 10 of pentacles, you got to let go of what people have done to you. You got to let go of what people have done to you. You got to let go of your baggage. You got to let go of that pain, right? Um, and for those where you've realized you've done wrong by people, because we've all been there. We're not perfect. We're all human beings, right? It's time to let go of those ways and ways of being. Because the reason people do wrong by others is because of their own wounding. So no matter what Aries, whether it's you or the person you're connecting with, both of you are doing some major healing here, okay? Ah, porcupine spirit, time for beginner mind. 48, what does that break down to? A three, communication. A new way of communicating. Also giving apologies in order to let the past go. Wow, and bat spirit, a rebirth is assured. Energy of five with a lion spirit. Be generous of spirit. 37 cyclical energy here. Again, I'm feeling that backseat observant energy of allow people to come forward, Aries. Speak their truth without getting triggered. <laughs> if I could pick these cards up. To be a little, like be the quiet lion here, right? It's funny, Scorpio had a very similar message actually. Um, to kind of sit back and observe, listen, try to be compassionate. It's also a lesson for you, Aries. Whoever is gonna be the receiving end of these apologies, to be receptive, compassionate, 
and to actually hear what they're saying because I feel like the way that they're going to be communicating to you in whatever way they're apologizing or addressing these issues is very genuine. It's that page of cups energy. It's very genuine and it's going to be very different and a new experience for them. I don't think this person's used to apologizing. <laughs> whoever you're going to be dealing with uh and they're taking they're really taking on a new approach and it's risky for them it's hard for them so try to be receptive here because that's also going to be a lesson for you to not get triggered to not lash out to not be like angry as well and with bat spirit it is rebirthing a whole new cycle here for you aries for the receiving person the receiving person and also the person taking on a new approach here okay it's going to be beautiful if you can take us a, a a step back and not lash out okay remember compassion i know that's hard but compassion any other advice for aries whoa i don't know if you guys saw that grasshopper spirit take a leap of faith 30 breaking down to a three again communication it's also my fool card in this deck taking that leap of faith into the unknown and, and knowing that you will land in a soft place and again i'm getting a lot of communication off of this like I said, for this person who's giving the apology, it's a big risk. It's a big risk for them. <clears throat> and they are nervous about it. God, all this communication energy. Uh, they are nervous about it. But as long as the receiving party stays receptive, observant, open, and compassionate, I think that there could be a really beautiful new cycle for both parties, even if both parties do nothing with each other moving forward. It's just about getting that closure, right? Any other advice for Aries? Any other advice for Aries regarding this spread? Any other advice for Aries regarding this spread? Of course that card will come out. It's been coming out for everybody. Eagle Spirit. Spirit has your back. 23 breaking down to a 5. We have two threes and two fives here. We did get that tower in the pre-shuffle. This was divine guidance. Like we said, Whoever is getting rid of these blockages, whoever's going to be doing the approaching, they're being divinely guided to do this healing, okay? And to address these issues in a healthy way, to put them to bed once and for all, okay? Listen to your intuition here, guys. Whatever your intuition is telling you to do, do it. Just make sure you're not lashing out. Make sure your emotions aren't getting the best of you and make sure that you are staying receptive and open and that you're really going within for yourself to really understand where your wounds and triggers are really truly coming from. For some of you, like I was picking up on, uh, self-worth issues, issues around criticism, issues around feeling like a failure. Really address that, okay? And overall, I love this one. Hummingbird spirit, be here now. 34 breaking down to a seven here, okay? This is a card about, quite literally, the time is now to deal with this shit. <laughs> it's also a card of divine timing. You know, Aries, for some of you, you've been feeling like this sector of my life is never going to get better. It's never going to grow. It's never going to improve. Again, watch the negative self-talk. We're in a time where the more positive you are in your thinking or your words, you're going to invite a lot more of that energy back to yourself. Manifestation energy is really intense right now. So just be very mindful about your thoughts. Keep it positive. But Aries, it's happening now. Okay. This shit needs to be addressed now because we are going into 2020, guys, and we're still in Judgment Day energy as well. It's time for all these wounds to get wrapped up. It's time. Okay. So don't resist it. Don't fight it. Take it day by day. And also let energy flow through you. That, that's how we get energetic blocks, like when we resist feeling shit or when shit comes our way, we just like, ah, we're just trying to resist it. Let this shit flow and play out the way it's supposed to. Don't fight it. Even if you don't want to hear from this person, I know that's going to be a hard, a hard part of this. Just listen, observe. And for those who are needing to do the apologizing, you know, take that risk. It'll be worth it it'll be worth it. And also please watch the full moon and Aries video. I think it's gonna be very beneficial for a lot of you to watch it, especially those who are like a Aries rising or Aries moon or Aries sun. Okay. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon, check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Aries. Namaste.